last time on Trials and Tribulations. I must rub uh, some of my oil all over my body before I become the nervous wreck. Oh here, oh here, oh, here. oh that feels so good. Ah! Oh, oh no! Oh, oh la la! Excuse me, my monsieur. Oh my eyes, my eyes, my ears! Okay, guys, uh, I'm St. Kai. And I'm Echo. And, uh, yeah, uh, last time that, um, threats, oiled men, um, Phoenix eyes burning now. Um, in this episode, um, what just happened? Let's talk. Uh, okay. Trust me, and, and, and then the other option, what, the woman just now. Uh, you don't exactly have many customers, do you, Mr. Armstrong? No, no, you are right, monsieur. But perhaps that's the, the perfect time for you to visit me, no? Now I can give you my undivided attention and cook for you la dish supreme. Putting on a brave face, huh? That's what girls do, Nick! But you are right. Business is very difficult these days. Perhaps the name is the problem. People do not understand it. They think it is Trey. What? I just want people to think that my restaurant was exclusive. But you think... But they think you just serve f uh, fast food on cheap plastic trays. Nick! That's the kind of thing that can make a girl cry! Have you forgotten that Mr. Armstrong is a man, Maya? Uh, hey, 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 hey! Don't assume! <laughs> but... This restaurant is my life! It is everything to me! I will defend it to the finale! No one will take it from me! Okay, that woman just now. So, who was that woman you were just talking to? Oh la la! You saw that? Uh, well, yes. Sorry. So, who was she? She looked as- She so- Look, she looks so polite and graceful! P polite a, a graceful and she looks- she likes raw meat and fires, right? I'll be back next month. Oh, no, I'll, I will be wa waiting for you. If you haven't got it by then, I'm afraid it might get a little hot around here. No, I will have everything ready, I promise! Now I think about it. Hey, Maya, I think it's pretty clear what that kind of conversation they were having. You think so? Well, then let's show him that piece of evidence, see what happens! <laughs> this is about your death. This is your death, but here's your death. So long as this paper exists, I am uh, uh, but a delightful angel with a broken wings. An angel, huh? Doesn't bode well when you think about it. We, they keep harassing me, month after month. In the end, I, I had to give in and uh, agreed to help him. Oh, what? Help him? With what? Must be sure, if I did not owe the money, I would have uh, refused. But my arms were tied. Please, what did you agree to help them with? No, I, I cannot say. If I sell to you, that woman, she will slice me up. And eat me with the salad garnish. Uh, I hope she, he doesn't mean that he'll literally be sliced up and served with the garnish. I'm going to I'm going to guess that that woman was something to do with your loan contract. Am I right? Ah! Please, Mr. Armstrong, tell us about that woman. You mean it was very obvious? Oh, okay, okay. That woman who was just here earlier. I take it that she's um. Why has it come to this? What a tragedy! Suddenly, I feel myself so deep in the debt. It is a sign of the bad, bad world that we live in, huh? No, I'd say it's more of a sign of a bad, the bad, bad culinary skills. The woman who was here, she's a scary woman. She is from the loan office. A loan office? Is that where you borrowed half a million dollars from? What? What's it with the bandage on her head? We oui, Tenderlender, it's called. We're not going there, are we, Phoenix? Catchy name, 
Just hearing it makes me want to borrow some money. Please, you must not borrow from them. If you must, no, then more than ten dollars. Ten dollars sounds like your whole monthly step step in. Step in? Naya. Hey, I can't pay more than that. Thank you very much. So, tender lender is the loan office that you borrowed half a million from, huh? I I like. I just I just realized. Phoenix gives Maya an allowance. Yeah. I wonder if they got anything to do with this case. Uh, tender lender. I am the weak woman. Uh, when I am upset, I have to buy something nice to cheer me up. Thanks to I'm having lo I'm loaning la money, I have to pay him back half a million now. I am like a slave. I have to do everything that they tell me. Okay. Fake Phoenix, Nick Fix Eveskin is the loan shark. And then she's an underling. Got it. Um, who's he? Who's this he? La Tiger. La Tiger? The Tiger? We. Oui. It's the management manager of the Tender Lender. A terrifying man. The big city mobster. Again, we don't have his. Oh, I forgot. I forgot that Nick's fee wasn't there. Yeah. But I think. I remember he was pretty orange. When he shouts at me, my knees are trembling and his voice is right ringing in my ears for three days. As soon as I hear the noise of the battered old scooter he rides, I start to cry. A big city mobster who rides a battered old scooter. Um, does this guy resemble me by any chance? Oh, no, no, no! This man has a presence! A most formidable personality! Although, we oui, he does have the spiky hair, just like you. We oui, there is some resemblance there, I suppose. Oh my god! Hmm, sounds like this loan office is worth checking out after all. If you want to visit the Tender Lenders, it's just beyond uh, Vitamin Square. Hey, Nick! If you need money, I can loan you some, as long as it's less than three dollars. <sighs> at least you offered. I appreciate it, Maya. Um, thanks for the offer. It's just beyond Vitamin Square, huh? Oh, okay. Scooter! What is it? Is this just Scooter? No, no, no! I just saw it before in Vitamin Square, you see. Oh, one thing, no, no, no! Take it away! Do not show me that! Talked about an allergic reaction. That's what I got. Yeah. Okay, time to visit. Tenderland. Okay. Well, I'm gonna head back to the precinct now. We've got a big meeting starting in a bit. About Maggie's case, you mean? No, it's pretty much wrapped up now. There's another big case going down at the moment, so she's been pushed outside. Okay, well, see you later then. Bye. And he's back. He's like, you, you're gonna solve it, right? You better get going, detective, or you'll be late. Actually, I, um... I kinda have a favor to ask. A big one. A favor? Yeah, it's, uh, for, uh, Maggie, actually. I was kinda hoping... You'd give her this to her, for me. What is it? It's a lunchbox. I got up early so I could make it. Oh, but you don't have money! So he made it special for her. I've been real worried about her. She's looked like she's lost a lot of weight. Detective Gumshoe! How many weenies are in here? That's not a, there's not a person on Earth who could down this much meat. Excuse me, <laughs> Maya. I can. Hey -o. I can. Hey! <laughs> you think? I love weenies. I can't get enough of their tender juiciness. So will you give it to her? It took me ages to make it, so... Please, say you will, pal. I can't exactly say no, can I? Gumshoe's lunchbox, I had to Maya to carry. Give, Give it, it to, to Maya, Maya to, to carry! carry. <laughs> Maybe I'll eat it myself when I get hungry. Maya, don't you dare. Don't forget, okay? I'm counting on you to give it to Maggie. He's finally gone. Alright, real quick story on that thing. 
Um, there was a developer, uh, who was working- Oh, sorry, a programmer who was working with the team for the, the third Ace Attorney game, and every single day at lunch, he'd bring an absurd amount of meat and rice to- to work, to have on his lunch break at his desk. And people- and people would joke about how much- how much food was in it. And there's- there's no way any- it's physically possible for him to eat that much- that much of his lunch. And so, they thought it was so funny, they added it into- into the case. Because they found it so funny. That's- that's great. <laughs> yeah. It's really good. A tenderly hand- hand- handmade lunch fills the stomach with love and plenty of weenies. <laughs> I like the weed. I love gumshoe. <laughs> All right, you know where we're going. Uh -oh. Uh oh. It's B. It's next B. Hmm. I don't see any signs of Mr. Kudo. Do you? Maybe he wanted to buy another ton of birdseed. I was kind. I was hoping he wouldn't be here anyway. At least not for now. Besides, any more seeds today, and I'm liable to turn into a real phoenix. Hey, check this out! I wouldn't get too close to, to that if I were you. Otherwise, you might be in for a shock. My phony must be looking around someplace nearby. Just imagine a tiger loose in the city! Meanwhile, the real phoenix is like an abandoned chick lost in a vast urban jungle! This is, that's an amazing analogy, actually. Yeah. This is amazing. Huh? Don't worry! Someday, your girl will become a ferocious tiger too! Don't lose hope! No, he's gonna become a phoenix. Also, he actually in Justice for All he gets DLC costume where he turn where he wears Justice for All in, in, in trial in, in Spirit of Justice. Okay. Um, in Spirit of Justice that he gets um, the tiger's outfit as DLC costume. So why is she trying to pep talk me into becoming my phony? Because you know, whatever. Tender lender. Okay. Oh, look at that robe. That pink magenta robe. This place gives off a really strange vibe, doesn't it? It looks like the tiger isn't in his lair. That's because you just saw his bike, man. That is, as they say, a very good thing. Welcome. No. Oh. What? Talk about a creepy voice. It makes your soul want to shrivel up and die. Hi. You're here to discuss alone? Uh, no, no, not exactly. The manager is away at the moment. Wait quietly, please. She's gone! Just like that! I guess we'll just have to come back another time. But this is the perfect opportunity, Nick! This place reeks of suspicion! Come on, Nick! Let's take a look around, okay? You think it'd be okay? Of course! No one will ever know! Coffee? Ah! I'll leave it here for you to enjoy. Quietly. Yes, th thank you. Do not touch the desk, please. N -n -n Nick! Let's get out of here! Now she wants to get out of here? No, not me, no, no, I'm just gonna... What's this? Uh, it's a punching bag. What? No way! You wouldn't catch me walking around with a bag like that! What do you mean, walking around? The design's gross to start with, and it's way too heavy to be practical. And why is it called a punching bag? Don't people know matches their bags are in? I knew it. I was right before back at Tresbian. Paris fashion is more my day. I really, really hope she's pulling my chain on this one. This giant showy piece. Let's see. This round doll thing is called Daruma, I think. I figured I read. I figured I read a book or two and be more cultured. In case you're wondering. <laughs> this, by the way, we have to explain why we know this. You mean you aren't making stuff up for a change? Heh, <laughs> I bet you also didn't know that. No matter what, he'll always. Right himself. Go on, Nick. Give him a good shove. Only if I feel like dying. Now, this yellow thing is a Japanese chess piece. 
I think it's a cake. Not that I'm an expert or anything. I'm more of a reverse C person, you know? Assuming she knows what she's talking about, these aren't exactly your typical mobster wannabe items. They're not trophies, are they? Hey! There's a piece of paper sticking out from under here! What is it? A repair bill? For your scooter? Looks like he did some repair work on his car. Does he even have one? Five fifteen hundred dollars to replace a bumper and a light. That's insane! Holy crap, what? Is that really cost that much? I don't know, but it doesn't seem right to me. The car is registered to the Cavavarius Renes. Huh? So, it's not even the Tiger's car? Why would someone else's repair bill be in the Tiger's office? Repair bill adds a court record. Okay, we, we just took that. Paid by Ty Gray. Ty Gray? T Gray. T Sorry. T Gray to the Cadaverini family. We, we call him the Tiger, but we're already saying T Gray. Got it. Yeah. There's a CD player on the desk, but it's so loud, I. It's a wonder you can hear it. The lid's open! I wonder what kind of music the tiger's into. Have you finished the coffee? Ah! Yes, yes, thanks. It was lovely. So, you drank it all? He, he, he. Go! If you touch anything else that doesn't belong to you, there's always another cup. That coffee! It was less of something! I'm sure it was! Nick! My stomach! It's killing me! Oh, wait! See, it was just a burger I ate for breakfast. I don't think we're gonna see something else. I sure hope so. We better take a look at the CD while we're still alive and have a chance. What the? MC Bomber? What? It's not the Rockwell soundtrack, is it? Call of the Tiger? It's a demo disc. The artist's name has been handwritten on the disc in pen. MC Bomber. What? This must be the CD Maggie told us about. Let's listen to it. I bet it's heavy metal. No way. That woman will make us drink coffee if we do. I, I, that woman and uh, Godot would get along real nicely. Win through compromise. I wonder what that's supposed to mean. It must mean uh, something if, if they take if they took the trouble to frame it like that. Yeah, well, it still doesn't make any sense to me. Oh, oh, she's back, Dad. Ah! That's Tender Lender's guiding principle. Oh? Compromise the customers to win. Oh, oh I, I see. H how about you, Nick? Yeah, um, hmm. As long as we don't have to compromise my hair, I'd say I'm a we're okay. That's one slogan no business owner should ever explain to their customers. Ugh. She didn't even walk off. She's just chuckling there. Hey, look at this Paris, Paris City and oh gosh, style coat, Paris City and style coat. I got, I just figured it out. It's so chis, chic. Chic. Looks like more like a pimp coat to me. I guess I haven't got an eye for fashion. Oh God. Hey, look at this. This suit is this, is this suit is the same color as the one you wear, Nick? Huh? Uh, the same color as my suit. Keep your voice down, Maya! Nick! You gotta take a look at this! Some cake? Ah! There's a lot of screaming in this episode. I'll just leave it here for you. Oh yeah, sure! Yeah, yeah, thanks! Just wait here quietly. Otherwise... Sure! Do you hear that, Nick? Just wait quietly, she said! Y yeah, sure! I have my eyes on you, only so I can take care of you, understand? 
Oh, God! Ah! I'm scared, Nick! So, what are you getting so excited about before? Look, on the nipple of the suit! That's... That's an attorney's badge! Is the tiger a lawyer? No way, look at the badge! It's made of paper! Paper badge added to court record. It's time to show everyone this badge! For some reason, your badge doesn't look really cheap to me, Nick. Why doesn't anyone recognize an obviously fake badge when they see one? Oh no! Someone just dropped the ashtray on the floor! It's going to be a nightmare to clean out! It's all over the rug and everything. I actually knocked over a really big space heater one. Cleaning it up was such a pain. It was one of those super antiques where you have a t to burn a ton of charcoal. How did she manage to knock over one of those? Aren't they supposed to be super heavy? Oh, hey! There's a book of matches here, too! Matches, huh? Places don't give them out much nowadays. Is hey! Trust me, Ed? Wait, wait a second. What is it? Looks like what's printed on the back. It says Trace Bien! Trace Bien matches adds a court record. These matches could come in handy. We might be able to use them. Yeah! The pilot light for the office spoiler keeps going out! Swing and a miss, Maya. Swing and a miss. Oh no! Ah! He's gonna think we knocked it over, doesn't he? Come out from under the desk, Maya. What's this doing to snooping around my office for? No, nothing. We were just. Gwah! My precious carpet! You just got the ash on my rug! What? Okay. Oh god. You was gonna wish your ugly feet never walked came through my door! It wasn't us! It was already like, you used to wanna argue with me? Is that what you're doing? You think you could, you could take me on? I'm gonna find your ass in the pancakes! You will send to my rugs! Ah! ah! Oh! Don't Tigre. Tigre. You're back. Ah! That voice. It's just like evil seeping into your head through your ears. She's like, she like compensate his voice level. I'm sorry, Don Tigre. I knocked over that ashtray before, and <laughs> she's got a death wish or something. Oh, right. Is he scared of her too? Ah. Uh, look at the Violetta. It's not none. What? 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 I I can't get mad at you. You're too cute, you hear? That's so unfair! Here, have some cookies. I just baked them. And you'll still need some strong espresso while you're discussing your loan. Gwah! Phoenix right! Yes? You know crazy? You're just plain stupid to chase after me! I worked so hard, but now you just come and mess up my plan! So it was him. He's my phony. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but I don't care. No one gets in my way. But what? I mean, uh, excuse me? <laughs> you should be. <laughs> you should have left well the girl at home, right? Um, I have a few things I want to ask. <laughs> no questions. This, this is the last time we meet. Is Maya still under the desk? I, wait, please! That was pretty weak, Nick. You waited till he was out of airship before you shot after him. Like you're one to talk. I didn't hear you scream. Hold it, either. The espresso. Ah! And cookies. This woman is definitely not it good for my heart. I want to hang out with her. <laughs> I'm glad I wasn't the only one thinking that when I first played this. <laughs> now, what was the tiger just called her? Violetta? Violetta? Isn't that right? Okay, guys. After all that noise, loud and screaming, uh, we're going to end it off here, and we're going to talk to Violetta and uh, see what's up with her. See you guys then. Bye.